Loading the trailer. This is uh, step one, loading the trailer in uh, Melbourne City. Beautiful morning. Hi, Michelle. You pumped? <laughs> 6 45 on this uh, not too cold Wednesday morning, ready to go to Mildura. We are here at Morong having our morning tea stop. <laughs> having a quick break for a cuppa or a bit of water and a muesli bar, a bit of a snack. Lovely big group. It's a little cool out here, but it's nice in the sun, isn't it? Here we go. Well, good day, everyone. Here we go. The day starts. Well, not the day starts, actually, it's the afternoon now. We're heading up to Mildura to the Magic Mildura Music Festival where we're going to go and have some fun. So uh, let's get into it. Away we go, we're just heading out on our river cruise, our lunchtime musical river cruise. The music hasn't started but we're uh, waiting for the crank up. We've just loaded all the other people on board. And if you look through the glass there, that's where we are. All right, we're aboard Mildura River Cruises, the Yeehaw Cowboy. Cruise. So over here, we're on a bit earlier because uh, we got the wheelies. So we get the exclusive behind the scenes tour. This is where the music's going to be. That's the bar. And notice Nicole is sitting by the bar. Does that say something about Nicole? That she's just a boozer? I don't know. And it burns, 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 that ring of fire, that ring of fire. Gaz is bopping his head. Neil knows all the songs. Michael's just chilling. Roman's just relaxing. Some of the guys got their lunch already. Lucky devils. So we're inside of the lock. They've closed the gates there and uh, we're slowly going down. So Karen, can you just jump in and see how deep the water is? That'd be all right. We've got uh, river water for uh, drinking today, so it'll be good. You floaties, but it'll taste all right. So this is out the back of the boat and uh, you can see we're just slowly going down. These gates were closed, so obviously the water upstream can't come in. We just gradually go down very slowly and gently. All right, well now we're down at river level and we're heading out of the lock, which should be good. So now we are cruising down towards Adelaide. We're not gonna quite get to Adelaide, but we're getting down that way. And we've turned around now, we're heading back up the river. So we're battling the tides. And here's gorgeous Georges. How are you, gorgeous Georges? You good? He's just chilling, look at him. He's looking very relaxed. We've got a new captain on the boat now. It's gorgeous Georges. He's gonna run us into the bank, I reckon. <laughs> well, there's a new captain in town as well now, called Paulie the Brisbane Lions sporter now. <laughs> He's hanging on to that wheel tight. 
So uh, let's see if we can uh, see if he can run us into the uh, bank or something like that. What do you reckon, Paul? Bit of fun. And now we're back in the lock. The doors of uh, the lock have closed, and we're slowly rising, 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 rising. All the gang are just chilling, relaxing to the music. I think Marty likes it, our driver. Here's Nicole, bashing out a few tunes on her wheelchair. Nicole! Here we are, we have arrived at the Holden Museum, the Mildura Holden Motor Museum. So Neil's already going in, he's trumping at the bit. I'm not sure I'm keen on this Holden Museum, I'm a bit of a Ford guy to be honest. But there you go, you've got to do it. So here you go, some beautiful old Holdens running around here. Absolute crackers. Ooh, I remember one of these when I was doing my apprenticeship, there you go. I'm not much of a Holden man, but so I don't know all the models, but there you go. Lots of good stuff. And here's some of the gang wandering through the museum here. It's quite a spectacular museum. The old uh, shag I'm wagging, the Sandman. There you go. It's got Shell Super. Monaro, old Monaro, cracker of a car. GTS, look at that, what a beautiful setup. Looks like it's still registered as well. That'd be good fun out on the road, that one. Right, our wheelchairs are coming up the end of us, but they are coming. Danton, Nifty Neil, Michael, how you going? And there's Sylvia, Jen, Jinx. Gorgeous George is out cruising. Jeez, I'm glad he's not driving the coach. <laughs> He'd have a few crashes. <laughs> Here's the gang, they're all jumping off the coach, ready to go into the Benetook farm. Nah, uh, so it's a beautiful day up here in Mildura today. There's the gang, we're getting a wave. As long as they don't flash us the bird, that's the main thing. Been a beautiful morning, had a nice uh, breakfast, and we went and had a coffee, so been a very good start to the day. So we thought we'd do the right thing. Uh, we're at Benetook Farm. It's a social enterprise, so we support our fellow disability uh, people. And wander through here. It looks very neat and new and tidy, so it should be good. So we're inside Benetook Farm, and it's actually got very nice gardens. It's very well kept. Very, very nice. Here's a cocky inside the cage here. All the uh, beautiful birds down here. I'll try and capture some for you. Look at those beautiful colours on those birds. Lovely. We've got some guinea pigs in here. Look at them, they're scurrying around. We've all decided this Benetook farm is beautiful. It's a shame it's not open because it's a public holiday today. Absolutely beautiful. Neil, what do you reckon? He's hanging for his next smoke. That's why he's uh, following me. <laughs> beautiful little farm out here. Well worth a visit. Look how many chooks there are. And that's not Jinx, that's just the chooks. Oh my God! It's like chook central here. So we're in the cage. I don't know which one's uh, more like headless chooks. Albert, go and give one of them a kiss. Go and give him a kiss. Albert's not keen on the kissing chooks. Michael, give a kiss. <laughs> the chook kisser. There's gorgeous Georges with the Chook Whisperer. He's the Chook Whisperer. Look at them all. Yeah, Michelle's the Chook Whisperer and Jinx. Give it a kiss. I like kisses. Oh. Anton's found a couple of eggs. They're called breakfast, Anton. Or nearly lunch now. The farm, they've also got this old, uh, well, I'm assuming it's a Melbourne tram, but it's, uh, it's a little cafe there. Cafe's not open today. Inside this building here where my little mate Greg is, uh, is this cafe, which is meant to be very nice. 
So we're in Langtree Mall. We've got the music playing just in front of us here. You can sit down, relax, and enjoy the smooth sounds. No trip to Music Mu Mildura Music Festival, we'd be complete without a visit to Woodsy's Gem Shop. So here we are, they've got uh, walk-up artists, we're gonna go through the little cave and uh, told all the guys I want lots of big expensive presents bought for me. Yeah. Cause it's all about me, 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 really. Oh, Trish's going no, but well, maybe it's not. <laughs> so we've come into Woodsy's and this is what we call the Cave of Wonders. Okay. So you can see under, over here, we've got the cave ceiling, and then we got these magical cave jewels that Rob's looking at. Fantastic. And there's Paul. How you going, mate? All right. You pumped? Yeah. Good on ya. find a bone, they go, what's that bone? What is it? Oh, it looks like a shoulder bone. So they'll put the shoulder bone down. Oh, I go, oh, that looks like a leg bone. So they have to collect all the bones and then they put together a jigsaw that they have no picture of what it looks like. Okay. So the archeologists who dig it up actually are very, very clever. So they're putting a jigsaw together with no picture. So imagine doing that. How hard would that be? Super hard. Yeah. Super hard. So I'm letting, filling in all the guys about all these wonderful, wonderful stones and gems and whatnot. So they actually dig these out of the ground, cut them and polish them, and they come up with all these magnificent colours and shapes and sizes. Yeah. Bronwyn, what are your thoughts on it? They're very, very good. This is the Cave of Wonders. We've got a fire in downtown Mildura. There go the fireys. Woo! Something on this side of the river's on fire. We've seen the flames actually soaring and jumping high. Wow! We're going out for dinner, so it's all pretty cash for us, but these guys are going to have to go to work now. All right, this is a gang. We're at the Langtree Cafe, overlooking uh, one of the corners. Windows open. It is beautiful weather here, absolutely magnificent waiting for our din dins the team's all hungry we've had a fun day today it's been good now i'm taking this shot because poor nicole didn't get in the shot so here she goes nicole give us the thumbs up yo baby yo each morning we've been at the uh festival here we come down here to uh jc park to have some breakfast it's just beautiful weather down here we're all together it's a very very nice uh place to it. Now George has found a train in the park. You like trains do you George? 
Good on you, mate. No trip to Mildura would be complete without a trip to Orange World. So we got the mighty tractor here, and it's orange. Because we're in Orange World, so here we go. About 40 minute cruise around the orchard. Ding, dang, dong. Ding, ding, dang, dong. Oh, beautiful. So what did it did to me, they put me right here. Teams all relaxing under the beautiful orange trees at Orange World. Isn't that just crazy? We've had pancakes, freshly sweet orange juice squeeze fridge. Uh, the freshly squeezed sweet orange juice. Fantastic. It's been a big day, my little mate Greg. He's dropped off the perch. He's asleep, catching up on the Zeds. Ready for the footy this afternoon. So yes, we're at the Inland Botan Botanical Garden in Mildura. Now these are arid gardens, so they don't have green grass everywhere. But we're gonna go out for a cruise around the gardens and see how beautiful the um, dry weather gardens can be, because they are quite amazing. Here's the gang, we're at uh, the Mildura Workers. We've actually got our own little area. Watching the football, go the Lions. And uh, let's see who wins the big game. Who are we going for? Lions, of course we are. It's a beautiful, balmy evening here in uh, Mildura. The grand final is over. We've had a few turncoats, they said they are going for Brisbane, they jumped ship went for Collingwood in the end. But it's all over for another year now. This is Wentworth Jail, so HM Wentworth Jail as it says on the sign there. They're going to let us in the gates here and then they're never going to let us out apparently. So that should be interesting. Now we're inside the male cell block. So apparently they used to have a lot of drunks come in here. Super hot in summer with the tin roof and freezing cold in winter because of the uh, structure, the cold walls. Albert, should we lock you up here or not? No. You sure? No. We can if you want. No. Paul. Here we go, who's in there? Bromont. Bromont's locked up. So, see you Bromont, it was nice knowing you. We'll, um, well we won't be back actually. So this is what we call Collingwood supporters here. So if we don't like them, they're going to go in the stocks. Oh. What we do when nurses don't behave themselves. Uh -oh. <laughs> now, this is the women's cells. Let's see how they are compared to the guys. Oh, one of the guard towers that uh, kept everyone inside the walls. But obviously it's not uh, a full system, this guard tower. It's only partly. Well, I can't imagine getting out of the wall that easily either. you a naughty boy or naughty girl, you get chained up. And you stand out here. The sun, the rain, the cold, the wind, anything else. It could be anywhere from a day to a week. Who cares? You're a prisoner. You'd have to shut up and do what you're told in places like this. This is the tree with the shackles. As you can see, it's right around the tree. Gaz has decided not to be shackled. But you uh, put these shackles around their legs and then the prisoners can't escape. Now our legs are awfully a little bit bigger than what they were many, many years ago. So the shackles don't actually fit around our ankles anymore. Mind you, I'm sure we can fit some shackles around some legs though. We can leave them here. Now this wouldn't have been the dinner bell, it would have been the bell to uh, do something nasty, I'm sure. Neil's worked it out though, he's onto it. It's damn noisy, I know that. Saw this sign and worth, thought it's worth uh, videoing. Floggings will continue until morale improves. So everyone has to smile. So now we're inside uh, the museum. Some amazing bits of gear here. All about the area. It's all about the area here. Some beautiful old paddle steamer replicas. Rod's taking them around, he's showing them all the good stuff. All the gold. 
So we're inside having a look at these amazing replicas of uh, all the paddle steamers. So up to 400 hours. Pretty amazing. And they're very well made. There's some uh, pretty good works here. Quite amazing, really. Patience is right up there on the list, I'd think. It's an absolutely magnificent night tonight. So we're having fish and chips down by the water. There's Gaza, cheeky monkey. And we're literally overlooking the Murray River. Couldn't find a nicest place. We've got a bit of a sound speaker going. So we're doing, taking requests. Very relaxing. Keep going, mate. So we've got a few uh, Macarena lovers here, but no one actually knows how to do the Macarena. Mind you, I reckon Neil's probably pumping it out. Go Neil, show us. I reckon Neil's probably doing the best job out of everyone. Good on you, mates. Well done. Neil's tapping his toes, tapping his head, and he's singing along. <coughs> Here comes Broman and the rest of the gang. We've hoodwinked them into joining the music now. Music by the by the river. Put the bread on the shelf. Yeah, okay. Hey, can me. All right, everybody. Boom, 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 boom. YMCA. YMCA. You got me? I do. Go on, Paul. YMCA. YMCA. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four, five. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. YMCA. Oh, 
So we are now at 22 Wine Produce. So what they do in here, I'm gonna come out of the sun. They have tastings. So we're doing non-alcoholic or carbonated water with flavor. All the gang are sitting around and we're gonna get some cheese platters and you can buy all the different stuff from the area. So it's a, a feast for the eyes and the stomach. Now if this was real wine, I reckon old Gary would be on his head by now. Luckily, it's not alcoholic, but he looks like a real wino. He's got all the movement going on and everything. We've got a nice selection of uh, dips and that. George is having a quick snooze because he's driving. Aren't you, George? You're going to drive, aren't you? Yeah, George is going to be driving for us. But we've all got uh, our little table of selection of foods. I think we've uh, worn them all out. A little cherubs, and this is what we're going to buy later. So Karen was talking about, and Rob were talking about shouting everyone. Because you're good guys like that. You're good like that, aren't you, Rob? Well done, we like you for that, yeah. It's Pete, it's bold. <laughs> So this big Lizzie took one year to get up here. All the gang are hanging around here. We're having a look, checking it out. So it weighs 45 tonnes. Considering our coach weighs 10 and a half, that's pretty amazing. So it's total load when it's fully loaded is 80 tonnes. It's pretty damn heavy. And it was up here to clear all the scrub. They put big chains behind it. They used to drag the chains around, flatten all the trees and the scrub and everything else around it. And that's what it was used for for many years. So here we are at Santa's little workshop here. It's my mate, Cheeky Monkey, Tazza. And in here, there's this beautiful little Santa's garden, which is quite amazing. All the gang are wandering through, they're buying ready for uh, Christmas. I know it's still a couple of months away, but there you go. Santa's shop is open, so we're spending. So I am here with Karen. Hi Karen. Hi Alicia. How are you? Good, thanks. So we are on the Mildura trip and how have you enjoyed the trip? I like the whole of, I like the trip. Yeah? What uh, what are some of the best things apart about the trip? I like Orange World. Yeah. What else did you do? I went on the paddle boat as well. Really? Yeah. And what about the people on the trip? They're all nice. Yeah. And the people who cared for you? Yes. Yes. And have you travelled with club mates before? Yes. Where have you been? Queensland. Yeah. Anywhere else? Everywhere. Anywhere else? Have you been anywhere else with club mates? Um, I've been to Sunshine Coast. Here's a time with a Mildura holiday. Oh, wow. And what was your favourite? I like all of them. <laughs> you don't have a favourite? No. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. And what would you say? Would you recommend people to come on a holiday with Clubmates? Yes. Are you going to come back? Yes. Awesome. Next year I will. That's Where are you going to go next? I'm Glen Rowan. Glen Rowan. Nice. Well, thanks very much, Karen. Okay, bye. bye. Here with Robert. Hi, Robert. Hi. <laughs> have you been on a trip with clubmates before? Yes. Where have you been? I went to the lakes. Then mm. I went to Canberra. Now here. Mm. And where are we? What, what did we, what did you do this week? Had fun. <laughs> yeah. Went on the paddle steamer and had a good time. 
What is the what's been your favourite part about travelling? Meeting young Jinx, Trixie. Oh, Jinx. Jinx. Yeah. And the, what do you think of the people who take care of you on the trip? Tremendous. Oh, that's nice to hear. And uh, would you recommend people to come yes, to travel? Yes, And where are you going to go next with us? Probably Gympie. Oh, great. Yeah, Gympie's wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert.